Hi, I'm Najla, and today we're going to be talking about how to represent numbers in binary. So before we talk about binary, let's talk about the base 10 system, which you guys should be familiar with. So in the base 10, um, you have the 1's placeholder, the 10's placeholder, and the 100's placeholder. So every time you move forward, you multiply by 10. So let's say we wanted to represent the number 642. Well, the largest placeholder we can use is the hundreds place. So we take 6 and we multiply it by 10 and by 10 again, which gives us 600. Now we're left with 42. And the largest placeholder that can hold 42 is the tens place. So we take 4 and we multiply it by 10. And now all we're left with is 2. So we can just multiply that to by 1. So now on to binary, also called base 2. Base 2 is exactly the same as base 10, except you replace everything with 2's. So in the 1's place, you have a 1. The next place, you multiply by 2, you get the 2's place. And the next place is the 4's place. So let's say we wanted to represent the number 5 in binary. Well, the largest placeholder out of the 1s, 2s, and 4s that is less than 5 is 4. So we can use 1 4. Now, 5 minus 4 is 1, so we're left over with a 1. So we can't use a 2 because 2 is larger than 1. So if we use a 2, we'd get 6, and we don't want that. So we put a 0 here. And so all we're left with is a 1. So now we have 4 plus 1 which gives us 5. The difference between binary and base 10 is that if you wanted to use a 4, instead of writing a 4 here, you would just write a 1. So you'd write a 1 here, you'd write a 0 here, and you'd write a 1 here. So this number is 1 plus 4, which is 5. Another difference between base 10 and base 2 is that base 10 uses all the numbers from 0 to 9, while base 2 only uses 0 or 1. 